What's going on, everyone? Andrew here again with another episode of TRP Exclusive. And the NCAA Indoor Championships are now just a few days away. There's a lot of great athletes set to compete this year in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But today we're going to be talking about the one and only undefeated Caitlin Tui from NC State. Caitlin Tui has been rocking it this season. There's just no other way to describe what she has been doing so far. She's already broken the indoor mile record at 4 minutes and 24 seconds. She's broken the indoor 3,000 meter record at 8 minutes and 35 seconds, which is also more than 6 seconds faster than the previous NCAA record. And even though it's not technically a real, real record, she also holds the indoor 1500 record because she split a time of 406.49 en route to her indoor mile collegiate record. Also, she ran a tremendously fast time of 15 minutes and 15 seconds in December, making her one of the top 10 fastest collegiate athletes in this event as well. Heading into this weekend, Tui is slated to run the 3,000 meters, the 5,000 meters, and the distance medley relay. So the best possible scenario for Tui this weekend is to win this incredibly challenging triple. But here's the thing, she is going to win the 3,000 and probably going to win the 5,000 meters as well. It's as simple as that. She's just looked so strong, she has been so consistent, and even against some of the world's best runners such as Alicia Monson, the newly minted American record holder in the indoor mile, the 3,000, and also the 10,000 meters, Tui was quite close to Monson. So it's really only fitting that Tui is going to dominate these indoor championships in the 3,000 and the 5,000 meters. But the distance medley relay is a different story because there are a lot of complete teams that do have a chance to break not only the collegiate record but possibly the American record as well. And even when she ran a 423 1600 meter leg, she wasn't quite able to win the ACC championships for her team because they were just a little bit too far behind. No matter which way you cut it, Tui is one of the best distance runners really in the world right now, and she is becoming one of the most complete collegiate athletes that I have ever seen. And speaking of being a complete athlete, I read something very interesting today that was looking at Tui's potential NCAA records that she could hold, and oddly enough she only holds two right now. It really does seem like she has about 10 collegiate records to her name, but really at the moment it's only the Indoor Mile and the Indoor 3000. But when we take a look at the record books, I think it's almost inevitable that she will break at least two more at some point this season. And I wanted to also look at what time she has the potential to run in each distance running event, especially during the outdoor season. So at the moment, the NCAA records that I think that Tui could potentially break include the Outdoor 1500 and 359.9, Yes, I do think she has the potential to break four minutes for the 1500. I think she clearly will break the mile record outdoors if she chooses to run this, because the current mile record is 427, set by Susie Favor Hamilton, and her indoor mile performance is faster, so that only makes sense that she could break it. The outdoor 3000 record is 837, again a time that she's run faster indoors. The outdoor 5000 is 1507, set by Jenny Behringer as well. I think she has the potential to run under 15, and even even though she doesn't have any plans of running the 10,000 meters, the NCAA record in this event as well is 31 minutes and 18 seconds. And I feel pretty confident that if Tui trained for this specifically, she could break the 31 minute barrier. In fact, I think she could do it pretty easily. As we mentioned before, she's pretty close to Alicia Monson, and Monson just ran a time of 30 minutes and 3 seconds, breaking the American record. And while I don't think Tui is going to get close to 30 minutes right now, I think she could probably run 30 minutes and 45 seconds, 30 minutes and 50 seconds. If Tui finds herself in a record-setting race in these events, it is actually possible that she could break five NCAA records this outdoor season. And also, let's be real, she could dominate the 5,000 meter record that currently stands indoors, because that time is 15 minutes and 12 seconds. And yes, she ran a 15-15 back in December, but that was more of a tune-up at the end of her cross-country season before her track season began. So I think that she has the potential, unbelievably, of holding eight individual NCAA records for track and field. That is a huge amount of records, but Tui really is that good right now. And I think it's important that we take a look back at how she got here, because she was running very, very well in the 2022 NCAA Championships, taking down Parker Valby with a very impressive final 600, but really it was last year's cross-country season, where I think Tui found her complete stride, and again she went undefeated during this season. She showcased some of the best tactical racing that we've seen, and it all came to a powerful crescendo when she won last year's NCAA Championships. 
I really do think that she needed to run a nearly perfect race in order to beat Parker Valby last year. Valby was just running some incredible times, and she was also undefeated going into last year's NCAA championships. But even though Valby had a huge lead in last year's NCAA cross championships, Tui reeled her in over the final mile and passed her with probably less than 600 meters to go and that completed a dominant and undefeated cross country season. And she's really taken that momentum into this year's track season, rewriting the record books in the 3000 and the indoor mile. And I think she's just getting started. I would be very surprised if she did not win both the 3000 and the 5000 this upcoming weekend and moving into the outdoor season. I don't even know what she's capable of, but I do think she will have at least two more NCAA records to her name and perhaps she'll have more, but no matter which way you look at it, she's probably going to own more NCAA records than any other NCAA female track athlete currently holding a record. And that's pretty incredible. Caitlin Tui is really becoming her own enterprise at the moment, and I can't wait to see her assault the record books again when the outdoor season does arrive. Anyways, I just thought it was really interesting thinking about what Caitlin Tui could do in terms of NCAA records. And I want to hear what you all think she could do as well. What records do you think she'll break? What NCAA titles do you think she'll win? And yeah, that's about it. See ya.